Okay, we got a taker. Never fished this bait before, so I'm not sure what to expect. Um, Seems like the fish are right on these pylons. So I'm trying to get close to them, but not too close where it's gonna cut the line or wrap me up. They are. Oh, these guys fight. to skip because of the weight. My goodness, this is fun.
Alright guys, so we're gonna take a moment to go over the bait I was using. And again, I wanted to do this when I was getting off the water at the launch, but this storm came in. It's time for me to get a dodge. This is the three inch quarter ounce version. This is the one I was using on the water. And here's your four inch half ounce version. I'm gonna use the four inch to show some of the details of the bait. First and foremost, and I hope you can see that, the segmented tail really gives it a nice fluttering action as it's sinking in the water. But as you see, it also maintains that natural curl that a shrimp would have. Glow in the dark eyes. Here's your weight right here, and it's a painted weight. The eyelet of the hook is forward set, and I'm gonna go over why in a minute. The body is a Kevlar weave, so it's very, very strong and will last against a lot of fish attacks. And trust me, I'll go over that with my bait in a minute. As far as the eyelet being set forward, it allows the bait, when you're just using the bait by itself, to fall forward this way, face first, like a shrimp would, which then allow the tail to do its thing as it's fluttering down. If you're using it with, say, a popping cork, as you're popping the cork, it's gonna allow the, the bait to also have that natural motion of a live shrimp. This is the bait I was using and going back to the Kevlar weave. Um, this bait was attacked by a lot of snapper that day. Antennas are still there. All the legs are still there. Tail still intact. Really held up well. The only part of the bait that got pretty beaten up was the weight. And again, I was hitting this bait against pylons covered in barnacle or pylons that were made of uh, cement, some sea walls, a lot of rocks down on the bottom. So I really beat this bait up pretty good and it still held its shape and is ready to go for another trip. Uh, I really like the motion of this bait. When I was fishing in it, I was using a three twitch drop motion. Again, first I was fishing in shallow water. So I wanted the bait to stay off the bottom because there was a lot of areas to get stuck on the bottom. Again, there's a lot of rocks. I was at the bottom of uh, barnacle covered pylons. So I wanted to keep the bait going. Um, it really had a nice look to it. Really represented the same motions of a live shrimp and that's really attracted a lot of the fish. Um, overall, I couldn't be happier with it. Uh, I really look forward to trying this bait out in other areas, say for snook and other species. Um, really well made now right now this bait is available in a couple dealers throughout south florida and those are at the bottom of your screen and you can also check out some more information on the bait here on the website um, once the bait was manufactured my longtime friend and owner of nirvana water sports nelson portillo made some changes to it now, honestly i really think he hit it out of the park he gave me a couple of these baits to try and the first day I took this bait out, I caught some great looking snapper with it. It was just a blast to fish with. I was throwing it on a seven foot medium action rod with a 3000 size reel. Um, the heavy weight in the front made it a bit difficult to skip properly. I couldn't get it as far into the docks, but not enough to ruin my trip. It really did a great job. So I invite you to go to one of the dealers listed below earlier or go on to the website, which I'm going to list here again. You can check out them at Nirvana Water Sports. Tell Nelson I sent you. And again, this is just an overall great bait for inshore application. So again, three inches, quarter ounce, four inches, half ounce, in a variety of colors, natural colors that fish are used to seeing shrimp in. And trust me, I really think that once you start using these baits, you'll put some fish in the boat. Ow, he pooped on me.